Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. I'm running a little bit late. I slept in this morning. I, I slept till 6.20. <laughs> drinking out of my uh, Disciple mug this morning. That's one of my own designs there. I'll just set this right here. All right. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It is Friday, January the 22nd. And uh, we're going to go, of course, to the Psalms. And then we're going to have a passage from Jeremiah and then another one from 2 Peter. So here we go. Uh, Psalm uh, this morning. Get a little coffee. The psalmody this morning. Uh, Psalm 62, verses 5 through 12. So here we go. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, <clears throat> that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love. For you will render to a man according to his works. All right. Uh, uh, back in the Old Testament, uh, we're going to uh, Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 7 through 13. So here we go. O oh Lord, you have deceived me, and I was deceived. You are stronger than I, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all the day. Everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I cry out. I shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart, as it, as it were a burning fire, shut up in my bones, and I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is on every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him, say all my close friends, watching for my fall. Perhaps he will, he will be deceived, then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread, as a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, who tests the righteous, who sees the heart of the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evildoers. All right, get a little coffee. Oh, I'm having some of that cinnamon hazelnut again. It's pretty good stuff. All right, <clears throat> on to the New Testament. Um, 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. So here we go. This is now the second letter that I am writing to you, beloved. In both of them, I am stirring up your sincere mind uh, by way of reminder that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles, knowing this first of all, that scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own sinful desires. And they will say, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. For they deliberately overlook this fact, that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water, and through water by the word of God, and that by means of these the world 
that then existed was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the heavens and earth that now exist are stored up for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. And this is the word of the Lord. All right. Let's get to the prayer of the day. Oh, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And so, let us pray. O oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully grant that by your power we may be defended against all, adver all adversity through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, that was, uh, that was short and sweet, but uh, got the readings in today. And uh, by the way, if you're interested in following along, um, you can get a, 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 you can subscribe and you can put it in your smart device. Like I, I have them on my iPad and my iPhone, um, <clears throat> the, daily, the daily readings from the Revised Common Lectionary. Uh, you can go and hit our website, <clears throat> uh, joyrichmond.org. And there are some instructions on the right-hand side uh, on how to uh, do that. Some people like to follow along with the readings. And uh, you can click on that and follow the instructions. And it will get in, um, uh, in your calendar on your, on your smart device. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can just drop me a comment or, uh, or an instant message or something. That should be able to do that through the uh, various channels that I share this to. So uh, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. So I uh, hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a great weekend. It's Friday. So, ah, happy Friday. Uh, so anyway, so with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. Bye-bye.